Hey everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very, very quick video where I show you how I make my spaghetti squash. It makes for a perfect side dish. It can be vegan as well if you don't use any butter. So let's get started. First, we'll start off by grabbing one large squash and really the size is completely up to you as far as how much spaghetti squash you want. Um, and then go ahead and cut it lengthwise and we're gonna take all those seeds out with a spoon. Once you're done scooping everything out, we're gonna go ahead and season the squash. And at this point, you guys can use really any seasonings that you like and just kind of play around with the recipe. I like to keep mine super basic with just salt, pepper, and garlic powder because later when I'm actually serving the spaghetti squash, I'll continue to season it some more. So for this recipe, I like to just drizzle some olive oil on each side, maybe about a teaspoon on each, and then sprinkle both with half a teaspoon of salt total, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and then half a teaspoon of garlic powder as well. Grab a cookie sheet with some parchment paper for easier cleaning. And then I like to just use one of those cooking brushes to combine all of those seasonings together with the olive oil. Place the spaghetti squash cut side down onto your baking sheet and then use a knife to make little slits in each side. And you guys can also use a fork for this. I just think using a knife is a little bit easier. Now we'll bake these in your preheated oven of 400 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes, really just depending on how big your spaghetti squash is. So what you can do is just stick a fork or even a knife inside each one, and if it goes through smoothly, they are done. Mine baked for exactly 40 minutes. When they are done, I like to just flip them over so that all the steam starts to release. You do want these to cool off at least for five to 10 minutes so you can touch them easily. Or you can also use a kitchen towel to grab them, but I do find that method to be a bit slippery where the squash will just keep falling out of your hands. Use a fork to fluff and scrape all those strands out and at that point, you're pretty much done. You can add more seasonings to your squash just for a bit more flavor. I personally love squeezing some fresh garlic, then adding some Parmesan cheese. You can even add some butter for more flavor. Really just play around with the recipe and you can just also scrape one side and play with that one and then season the other one completely different. Totally up to you and what you enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next week with the next video. Bye.